Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3. And Basil, our Generation 3 Dark Moon heir, who is sleeping on this very cold and rainy night to try to recover from the fact that he really, really, really got quite beat up after a couple unsuccessful hunts, um, also running into the Prospect Peak pack, and unfortunately feeling, oh, he's out of food to regurgitate to his babies. And unfortunately, feeling the fury of their bites. Oh, so the Prospect Peak Pack definitely wants us to stay in our territory and not mess around in their territory at all. Oh, and poor Basil has a hungry stomach. He hates having an empty stomach. So we need to go and see if we can find something to eat. But considering he is so beat up, I think that we're gonna have to just like look for some rabbits, if anything. And the puppies are getting very hungry. So, all right, everybody inside. We'll see if we can find something really, really small and soft that aren't our babies that we can go ahead and eat in this dark rainy night like a couple bunnies. And then we'll come back and we will take good care of our little ones, trying to offer up a teensy bit of food to regurgitate. All right, there's a snowshoe hare somewhere down here. And poor Basil is so hungry that he will actually, and so limping because he's got so many bruises, that he will actually deign to go ahead and try to eat rabbit. Normally he completely ignores rabbit, but since we're kind of starving today, and I don't think he has enough energy or health to go ahead and try to do any kind of hunting, we're just gonna snag a rabbit or two, and we're gonna have to just call it enough for now. All right, we should be stumbling on that rabbit any minute now. How far has it gone? Oh, and its trail has gone ahead. Oh, there it is. Thank goodness. As far as Basil's concerned, you only eat rabbit if you're really feeling very, very hungry or sick. So we'll go ahead and eat that. Let's let Catalina head back to the den. I think Basil's a little embarrassed having her just like watch us hunt some rabbits. He'll let out that really, really adorable and mildly pathetic howl to let Catalina go and maybe head back. And then we'll go, we'll follow our nose a little bit more. Let's see, a little bit more to try to find another rabbit or two. And then we'll head back home so that we can get some rest. Cause poor Basil. All right, any second now, there we go. Oh, oh, Catalina wants to keep an eye on him. <laughs> I bet she feels like he is just way too squishy. Everything steps on him. The poor guy has like hoof prints all over him from the fighting that he has done. She probably wants to make sure that he's going to be okay. All right. Are there any more rabbit scents nearby? I don't think so. And I don't think that really filled us up at all. So let's go back to the den in this pitch dark blackness that we can't see anything in. We ate a couple of rabbits to try to keep our health up. So hopefully we'll be able to go ahead. There we are. And we'll wiggle over here. I think our den is this way. So let's get some, some good rest. So we're gonna go ahead and get back to sleep because we're way too injured and it's way too dark and cold and rainy on this night to be able to do any hunting. So mouse and badger are here. We'll call out our little pups to let them know that we're back home. We'll play with them for just a second. And let's see if we have anything to go ahead and offer up to them. Do we have any food? We can't regurgitate anything because we're too hungry. Hang in there, guys. Let's let dad go ahead and sleep. Catalina is right over here with them as well. Oh, and he's having nightmares. Oh, poor Basil. He's even having some nightmares about all of this. Oh my gosh. Well, hopefully after he finishes his sleeping, we'll be able to get him like a nice mule deer to go ahead and eat. Catalina is still keeping an eye on everyone. And we're still not feeling our best, but now the babies are really hungry. So let's take this seriously. Today we're going to take down some prey. And we'll have to worry about strengthening up our territory. Oof. Yeah, we'll really have to worry about strengthening up our territory later. But for now, come on, Badger. Inside. Oh, and Catalina is, like, keeping an eye on us, too. Badger's begging and begging and begging for food. That's kind of why he's sticking by us. Go on, Badger. 
We won't be able to go hunting if we have to worry about you. Okay, good. He's safe. And there's some mule deer sent over here. So let's just follow that. There we go. Is Catalina coming with us? Yes. We're going to need her help in order to take down any prey in this condition. Okay. And we're going to want to make sure to move the mule deer away from the river. Because hunting across the river would just be way too exhausting. Alright. Where are these mule deer? Two hours ago they were here. I dislike the fact they're moving towards the water very much. Do we see them? Let's see. They should be nearby. We're going in the right direction. Oh no! Oh, there they are! Alright, let's loop around, let's loop around. To make sure they don't go towards the water. Why? Why must you have a sense of self-preservation that takes you towards the water? Alright, we'll take the one that lollygagged behind everybody else. Come on, Catalina! We have to do it together! The puppies are really hungry! Basil really, really, really wants to, like, he knows the pain of an empty stomach. This would be, like, the worst that his pups had become hungry. No, come on, come on! Don't you dare go towards that river! Don't you dare go towards that river! Ah! All right, well, we're gonna have to chase it anyway, because, oh, there's a moose swimming across the river. Oh my gosh. What is this, like the highway? Ugh, oh, come on, Catalina. We'll try to chase the deer back across, because now we're in Prospect Peak Pack territory. Oh, this is just miserable. There's another deer over there. There's just deer everywhere. But we're super weak and tired, so we're going to have to just take the deer we can get. Man, if we aren't able to finish this hunt, the puppies are going to be, like, really critically hungry. I'm really worried about this, so we really need to put some effort into hunting this deer. I just hate the deer that go in the river, because river hunts... The river hunts are not pleasant. They're a lot of work. There's no guarantee. The deer try to survive by throwing us off the scent by desperately jumping in the water again and again and again. Oof. Let's catch our breath for just a second. All right, we're gonna go ahead and rest. The deer still know we're here. All right, let's do this. We cannot stay in this territory very long. We really can't, because Prospect Peak Pack could really hurt us. All right, come on, Catalina, need help, need help. All right, there's Catalina, good, 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 good. Come on, you two. Come on, even one deer is almost not gonna be enough to fill up your stomachs and feed the pups this time. Oh, she's doing her best! They're both doing their best! Oh my gosh! Working as a team! Come on, we've gotta eat and run. Literally. Alright, come on, Basil. Yes! Okay, quickly, quickly. No howling, just eating. Eating as quickly as we possibly can. Oh, I thought I heard the Prospect Peak Pack territory music and I was like, no! Okay. Oh, look at that eagle! What a beautiful bald eagle that just like landed right in front of us. Oh my gosh, there's like almost nothing left of this carcass already. And... Tiny bit of a chunk of meat left. Oh, there we go! All right, well, I guess we can go ahead, and if we're over here, is the territory scent mark nearby? Because I wouldn't mind claiming this spot. We might be able to take that risk, because we had a successful hunt here, which really gives you a lot of power over a scent marked zone. But, all right, come on, come on. You can do it, Basil, you can do it. All right, we'll have to see. No howling, because that would definitely give us away way too early in this. Oh, there it is, there it is! Let's go, let's do this! I really dislike river crossings. Basil, only the, the deep hunger in his stomach really convinced him to do that. But, if we can actually make the area across the river safer, yes! <gasps> Huzzah! 
we've actually made the area across the river safer for our puppies now. Oh, what a huge relief. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and head home. We've got a little bit of food that we can go ahead and regurgitate for them. And now, hopefully, we can just do a little tiny bit of scent marking right at the very edge and then keep those guys out of our way. The The river crossing really does at least... Ooh! <gasps> We're so lucky! This is literally Basil's dream come true! Oh my gosh, a bison carcass, a whole bison carcass just for him. Well, there's only like two or three bites left, but come on, this is like his dreams come true. He loves eating bison, favorite food. He doesn't even have to like do anything to go ahead and grab this. He can eat another chunk. Look at the chunks we just took off. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. This just completely turned around Basil's day. Took a chunk of territory from Prospect Peak Pack. Managed to find some bison. Yes, Basil, more than any of our other wolves, is constantly on the very verge of death. I will admit, he really struggles with that. He also really hates swimming. Not as bad as Demeter, who really, really, really dislikes swimming. But he really does not appreciate a good swim. Catalina seems to just kind of grit her teeth and do what needs done to get it over with. But... How are we doing on territory? Yay! All right, and now we can actually come over and even strengthen up this territory and celebrate having taken more room from the Prospect Beat Pack. In fact, listen to her. Oh, Catalina wants to celebrate just that. We would join her if our mouth wasn't full of delicious bison. And now we can take bison back to the puppies for the first time. Oh, all right, let's make our way up to our den. Not bad, Basil. Not bad. The affinity is down a little bit with our pups, so we'll spend a little bit of time hanging out with them. I love how we can see the mountain of a place we have to den from way over here. And speaking of our pups, once we get back home and see who is interested in nibbling some of the bison first, we'll also check on how their growth is doing. They are still soft, squishy, tiny little things, but I feel like they're becoming a little bit stronger day by day. And it'll be very interesting to see if it's actually going to be time to really start thinking about either moving dens because of the fleas, or if it's going to be time to start thinking about moving dens because the pups are getting so big. So let's get back home and we'll we'll kind of like sniff all of them and see what's up. All right. Here we go, Catalina. That was a successful hunt and we brought back some extra bison, right? A nice howl to celebrate so the pups know what's up. And let's feed them. There you go, Rosetta. I know you guys are really hungry this time. Badger will give you a pile of food too. We'll see who's really hungry for bison. There we go. Now, where did our meat go? Where'd the bison go that we just had? Is it over here? Is it over here? Oh, I can never find things when we're in the close-up view, but... Ah, there it is. All right, we can go ahead and maybe eat some of the bison to make sure that our stomach is nice and full for the puppies. Hey, and Badger and Mouse seem to be the two who are most curious about it. And they're still hungry. Badger and Mouse seem to be the two with the biggest appetite, even though Mouse tends to be the smallest. All right, and Argon will go ahead and drop a little bit of food for him too. Fresh bison! Fresh bison, kids. I'm sure you guys are gonna absolutely love it. Oh, look at Catalina hanging out with the puppies. I love that they're both so super playful with their pups. They really do seem to care a lot for their family. And Rosetta is definitely the most playful of all the puppies we have so far, and also the most adventurous. Kind of a fun mix of the two. Badger also seems to be the most attached to his family. All right. And look at Catalina go. Oh, you guys. They're just so precious. I really love following this particular generation of our wolves. Ah, but all right, guys. So let's go ahead and see. The verdict is, 
Dun 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 dun! Badger is actually two or 9.2 pounds. He is quite the chonker and he has plenty more room to put more bison that's been regurgitated for him in his stomach. Then we have got Rosetta as the second biggest and Argon at 8.1 pounds. And we've also got Little Mouse, almost a full two pounds behind Badger. I'm getting hawk flashbacks from the generation that Basil's from. And the flea infestation is getting up into mild. So that's when we start thinking about if we are going to need to start moving to a new den. The new den would probably be the one down here, I think, because this I think might be the one that's in the caves. So we might we might check that out and maybe try to like solidify a little bit more territory down here. I think we're doing okay on territory so far. And it's mostly just getting the pups up to 15 pounds, which hopefully won't take too long. As long as poor Basil actually, you know, stops getting so beat up and doesn't die. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. Once again, Basil was almost on the edge of death, but we managed to not only overcome it, but get him some bison. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our little puppies and let me know who is your favorite so far. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.